Happy Monday, fam. Hope you guys have a great day today. Welcome to Morning Live with Coach Carl. Today, we're going to be talking about meal batching and simplifying meal prepping to make it efficient, to make it easy. For me, I like meal batching instead of meal prepping because it's easier. Um, it saves me more time, saves me more money. So let's get into it, right? So within this really presentation, within this live, um, I want to give you guys the methods behind meal batching to save you time, to save you money, and reduce your daily cooking stress, right? Because I feel like a lot of times when it comes to, you know, healthy cooking, healthy eating, we prepare, let's say, meal prep for five days. And then by day two, not day two, by day four or five, we don't even utilize those meals. So for me, I like to meal because once you have a set amount of meals, you only look forward to those set meals. And after a certain day, you get bored of those meals. And for me, I like to mix and match my meals. And that's why I meal batch, because meal batching introduces you to variety. It introduces you to different choices and different things that you could do within your meal structure and your meal planning overall. So we will go deep diving into this concept and the benefits of it and how it compares to meal prepping. And you guys can, you know, pick whether you meal prep or you meal batch. It's all up to you. I'm just here to give you the value that you need, give you the information that you need to get it done, get it popping and get it going. So what is meal batching? Meal batching is basically, let's say you batch cook a bunch of meals. Um, it involves preparing large quantities of food in advance throughout the week. So it typically involves cooking several meals and either several meals or several ingredients or individual components in bulk into different containers. So therefore you could store in your fridge. This method ensures, again, that you have a readily available and easily accessible ingredients, meals for quick, quick, quick use, quick fix, put it together, and then you're done. And the way I like to do my meal batching is I like to go with three proteins, three carbs, and three veggies. When I do three proteins, three carbs, and three veggies, that gives me 27 different options throughout the week. And you might be like, how do you get to that number? Well, three plus three plus three is nine. Nine times three is 27. You have 27 different options. So with protein, let's say you get chicken. You get uh, chicken, beef, and you get shrimp. And then you get quinoa, brown rice, and let's say for a carb, you get sweet potatoes. And then you get broccoli, lentils, and then let's say you get asparagus. What you're able to do throughout the week, fam, is, okay, I have grilled chicken. I have asparagus. Um, I have quinoa. Boom, that's one meal. I have grilled chicken. I have broccoli. I have brown rice. That's another option. I have grilled chicken. I have um broccoli. And with broccoli, I can use sweet potatoes. That's another option. That's already three. And then from there on, we just keep making more and more options. So this is a way of you guys incorporating meals, incorporating a healthy habit without stressing about having the perfect, the perfect meal in your like container. The perfect thing. You don't want it to be perfect. This allows you to be, well, it allows you to be resourceful. It allows you to be resourceful, but also allows you to be flexible because you can mix and match these meals. You're not going to eat the same things on a day-to-day -day basis. So what are the benefits of meal batching? So for me, the benefits of meal batching is time. It's convenience. Um, it's efficiency. And it's the ability to actually follow through with your meal plan throughout the entire week without having to stress about it. Um, because midweek is when we struggle the most with our meal plans. And if we struggle midweek, we're definitely going to struggle into the weekends. So therefore, this allows you to not struggle midweek. To not struggle going to the weekends because you can have the same mindset when it comes to the weekends. Let's say your meal batch Sunday and you run out of meals Thursday. Cool, meal batch again Friday. So therefore, you and it doesn't have to be a big amount. It could just be the smallest amount. You meal batch the smallest amount Friday and you're already set to go into the weekend. Because here's the thing, fam. We know we do this. We go into the weekend without any plan, without any mindset, and then we're like, oh, we can't do this. We can't do that. Maybe if you planned for it, you would have done it. So let's plan for it. Let's make sure we have the proper mindset going to the weekend. Let's ensure that we are actually taking the proper steps into the weekend. And I'm not saying you have to be perfect. I'm not saying you can't go out and have fun. No, I'm saying meal batch certain ingredients. So therefore, you have breakfast, you have lunch, and then let's say you go out for dinner, enjoy your damn time. That's balance. That's ensuring that you're doing things properly, but also you're not stressing about it because you know, oh, I ate healthy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now I can go out, have me a pasta this. And enjoy a drink with my family and friends. What's wrong with that? Isn't that what you want? I'm giving you exactly what you need right now. I'm giving you a dad. I'm giving you the value. And this is exactly what's going to help you thrive and actually get meal prepping, get meal batching consistently. Do it consistently. Because once you do it consistently, that's when you start seeing the benefits and results. You can't just do it for a week and quit. In some weeks, you're going to be harder than others. It happens. It's life. That's what happens. We keep moving forward. We keep growing. We keep getting better. We keep becoming more and more adaptable. And here's the thing, the more you meal batch, the more you start realizing that the variety is all around you. The more you meal batch, the easier it actually gets to prep meals because you're like, oh, this is actually very easy. All I got to do is, okay, I got rice here. I got broccoli here. I got shrimp here. Boom. 
my meal's ready to go. I shake it up. I might add a sauce here and there, and I'm good to go. Quick, easy, simple, effective, and it gets you from point A to Z. Easy. Now, meal batching involves sometimes preparing several meals, um, but you could also do it in individual components. You can have, you can meal batch certain meals, or you can meal batch certain ingredients. And for me, I I prefer meal batch certain ingredients um, because I like that variety option. I like the ability to just you know, switch any ingredients here and there if I wanted to. Um, because again, towards the end of the week, I want to be able to still have variety. I still want to be able to enjoy my meal and not find this boring, not find this dreaded, not find it, oh, this is a chore. Not, you know, you want this to be easy and enjoyable. And this allows me to make it easy and enjoyable. And this method avail like gives you the ability to have everything available and easily commendable as you go. So keep it up and really start utilizing those benefits. Really start incorporating it to your day to day. Really start reeling it in. And as well as it helps you eat healthy. Batch cooking allows you to control your ingredients, promoting healthier meal choices because you start realizing, oh, this is healthy. That's healthy. And then you can start making different meals literally out of nowhere. But also you already know they're healthy because those ingredients are key ingredients. They're whole food. They're organic. And they give you the vitamins and energy that you need to be able to go to work, go to the gym and perform. And most importantly, it's cost efficient. Ingre buying like Let's say you buy brown rice, you buy chicken, you got guys. This is this is why I love meal batching. Let me show you something. This is why I love meal batching so much. I love meal batching so much because I remember when I was in college, I would be meal prepping to bulk to gain size, but I was broke. So what I did to do, I used fit each week. I will go into the grocery store, fifty dollars, get me three proteins, three carbs, and three veggies. Now, with inflation, it might cost you around fifty to seventy-five. But spending 50 to 75 a week on groceries, instead of ordering, doing this, doing that, it goes up to 120, it goes up to 300, 500, because you're ordering out. That's what happens when you order out. You guys do realize that, right? Like, yeah, it's easy to order out. But when you're saying, oh, I can't afford this, you've got to look in the mirror. Like, look at what you're spending on. Look at your Uber Eats orders. Look at the fee for just to drive it from your, that location to this location. Get rid of those fees. Get rid of that headache. Bring down the cost of food, bring down the cost, and bring down your own budget by meal batching and making things simple, making things effective, making things easy to do and right on. All right. So for me, I used to do this for $50 a week. I would go get three proteins. And to be honest, sometimes I would get two proteins because I could literally eat chicken and beef all week. It doesn't matter. I'm here for fuel. I'm here for energy. I'm not really here for taste. Um, I get taste anyways because I'm always adding my my, my seasonings. So I get taste anyways, but overall, I'm here to fuel my body. So for me, let's say if I were to grocery shop this weekend, which I kind of did, but not fully. Um, I got chicken, I got beef, I got um, I got kale, I got spinach, and I got like three packages of like 48 eggs, two two packages of 48 eggs. And those for me are like my main sources of food, main sources of protein. I already have rice in the house. I already have bulgar, which is a different it's a different wheat. Um, I already have brown rice. I'm in a Haitian household. The grains are always going to be there. So I make sure I'm always stocking up protein and veggies. So therefore, going to the week, I'm sound and set and ready to go. I have a plan. I have a focus. And I know how to utilize it because I'm batching it. I'm not trying to construct the perfect meal. Sometimes that can be overwhelming. But when you batch it, you, you can look at it from outside perspective and be like, okay, let's mix this. Let's mix that. You can literally make your home an instant Chipotle. That's the goal. It's to make your home instant Chipotle, fam. Work on these habits. And built upon these habits. Now, to really meal batch effectively, you know, you got to decide the meals that you want or the ingredients that you want. Um, and I would actually go more towards the ingredients, right? I would definitely pick three protein, three veggies, three carbs that you can utilize within the next week. Now, when it comes to shopping for these ingredients, look for local grocery stores um, that have like local brands. Those local brands can be cheaper and they're, it's about the same thing quality as you know regular brands nowadays to be honest with you sometimes local brand can actually be better than you um let's say the mainstream brand the original brands so therefore go for that local option it's going to save you money as well as you know give you more efficient give you more nutrients next is prep the ingredients in a batch chop your veggies marinate your proteins and just portion each ingredient to different containers so therefore you're set and all you have to do during the week is to pick and choose and portion them out and you're set and ready to go now keep them in a glass container I know we can use plastic, but here's the why I don't like using plastic personally, is when you put that thing into the microwave, there's fumes coming off the plastic. You're burning and heating up the plastic. So therefore, your food could taste a little bit 
chewy a little bit. Yeah, I, just use a glass container. It's easier, it's more effective, and it'll actually make your food taste a lot better. Now, what is the difference between this and meal prepping? The difference between this and meal prepping to me is meal prepping, you have to get a specific meal and prep it for four, six, seven days. You could do that. If you're the type of person who loves doing that, you could definitely do that. But for me, I'd rather have that variety, like within each day, within each week, within each set, each time I go and prep a meal, I want to be able to say, oh, I can mix this, I can mix that, I can mix that. Because I like variety. I like having options. And once you have those options, it makes things easier. You know, make your home that Chipotle. Make your fridge a Chipotle and just utilize it and be effective with it. And this is another thing. You got to stick to this. Stick to it. If you're going to do it, stick to it. Don't do it and not stick to it. I think that's another reason why sometimes we don't really follow through with our meal plans. Is sometimes we start, but we don't stick to that shit. We start and we just, ah, uh, midweek, it's Wednesday. And then your friend says, hey, let's go out and order this. You're like, okay, cool. Knowing that you have a meal at home that you could be eating while you watch your friend eat other food. You guys could, you could eat your healthy food while he or she eats whatever she, she ordered. I do that all the time. I do not care. I care about my goals, about where I'm going. And I care about me achieving this fitness goal, me achieving the next level of me so I can become better, to become stronger, become healthier, and have the mental clarity I need to keep following through with my goals, keep following through with my dreams, and keep following through with the things I want to accomplish. So it starts with you, fam. It starts with you, and you got to take action. So it's either meal prepping or meal batching. I would say go more meal batching. Gives you more. But with that being said, fam, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, if you have any questions or anything you guys would want to bring up when it comes to meal batching, please ask away in the group. I'll always get to it. And with that being said, have a great day. Stay beautiful. Stay motivated. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Hey, love y'all.